The nuptiality of desire suggests, in its turn, a natural history of desire, a principle of development which defines the normal course of sexual education. Sexual maturity involves incorporating the sexual impulse into the personality and so making sexual desire into an expression of the subject himself even though it is, in the heat of action, a force which also overcomes him. If the Aristotelian approach to these things is as plausible as I think it is, the virtuous habit will also have the character of a mean. It will involve the disposition to desire what is desirable. Despite the competing impulses of animal lust, in which the intentionality of desire may be demolished, and timorous frigidity in which the sexual impulse is impeded altogether. Education is directed towards the special kind of temperance which shows itself, sometimes as chastity, sometimes as fidelity, sometimes as passionate desire, according to the right judgment of the subject. In wanting what is judged to be desirable, the virtuous person wants what may also be loved and what may therefore be obtained without hurt or humiliation.